Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're going to play Unity of Command 2, the Desert Fox DLC. If you know who I am, I make a lot of guides for these games and I play these scenarios while completing all the objectives. This one's going to be a little bit different. Instead of jumping to the tactical windows as we do and just sort of quickly showing you a history playthrough, we're going to go through it as it's happening. So we're going to start this Desert Fog DLC, we'll play it on normal. 1941 Africa. New Year 1941, Mussolini's war machine has floundered. In Greece, Italian forces have been pushed back into Albania. In North Africa, the Italian 10th army is in full flight. Running for their lives. In East Africa, isolated Italian troops are forced back into Ethiopia. Early February 1941, the 10th Army has been annihilated. Fearing complete Italian collapse, the leader's gaze turns south. Preparations are made for an intervention in the Balkans. German contingent is assembled for Africa. Mid February 1941, Enriel Rommel's Deutsches Afrika Cop begins arriving in Tripoli. His forces are immediately pushed to the front. Ramos' orders are but to hold the line. It's not what he's gonna do. Alright, so as always, we don't take any cards because it's hard to replicate. We only use cards that we get in written the scenarios from my guide slash let's plays. And here what I bought was, I already did this, so this is like, you're gonna have a starting. I'm doing the voiceover post me doing this, so what I took here was this and this down here. And that was it. Okay. And, uh, and we're gonna be doing the Zonenblume scenario. After the stunning success of Operation Compass, British forces in the Western Desert were forced to transition into a static defense as their best units were siphoned off to other areas, or for refit in Egypt. At this critical juncture, Rommel arrived in Libya. He toured the front line in his F. I-156 scout plane and immediately sensed the allied weakness. As one of Hitler's favorite, he didn't think twice about disobeying orders from Europe South or Commando Supremo, orders which were to sit tight ain't gonna happen ain't gonna happen this is one of my favorite scenario because i love scenarios that have small amounts of units and in this game one you have a very few units but it's really interesting because you have to be very of supply i uh, so you're gonna see how i did that and i'm gonna in the voiceover i'll give you some tips on how to do it even better if you'd like Welcome to Africa, Commander. High Command has ordered us merely to hold the line. However, weakened elements and indeed Rommel himself reported that the British line seem almost non-existent. Therefore, you have license to launch a local spoiling attack immediately, despite the minimal force assembled so far. More of your troops will arrive eventually. If you are successful, all sins will surely be forgiven by the higher-ups. Move out. Alright. So on the right, you can see all the objectives that we have to take. And how quickly? You have very few units, so at the beginning I'm checking if I have anything on reserves and I'm going to be buying some specialists. I have 100 prestige, so I have chosen to buy a pioneer unit and also um, uh, artillery uh, and, and some steps as well. You're limited to the number of steps that you can get, but uh, I wanted to get some anyways. And then I was kind of looking around, but I don't have actually any available um, prestige left. Now we have to take Emersa El Braga on turn uh, 5, so we have quite some time for that, but the rest of the map is a bit, st bit stretched out as you're going to be able to see, so it can be a little bit difficult to move. Now moving my HQ as close to the front as possible, the challenge in this scenario is going to be really how you can supply your units and move far enough while keeping them, them supplied. 
So that's like the main challenge. What we have is a lot of recon. We have one air supply for a unit and two flying artillery, as you can see on the left. And what I'm trying to see is if I can get good odds against El Agalia. What I'm doing here is trying to use uh, feint attacks. This is very important because especially in this scenario, you don't, because you have so few units, you don't want to take one one attacks, not at the beginning here, because if your unit gets weaker, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. So you want to make sure that you're using feint attack, which just gives suppression instead of straight out kills to your units. This is very, very important. And as you can see, we took Elgalia, which is our first objective. Oh, uh, actually, is that an objective? It's not an objective, sorry. And that's it. And I was, I was looking, where can I place better on my hubs? Uh, there are some, some of the hubs we could do better. I'll, I'll actually tell you like different tips on how you could place your hubs even better compared to how I did it. But um, we, we did all the, we did everything in time. So I think we're good. All right. Yeah, so you have to take Emersa Albarga at turn 5, then we've got uh, Agedabia at turn 7, which is uh, a little bit higher, uh, as you can see, a little bit further past Mersa Albarga. And then we can't see the other objectives on the map just yet, but that's okay. So I've been looking if I have some interesting thing. I have a uh, oversupply, but it costs 5, which is very expensive. So again, what I'm just doing is moving my HQ closer because you're going to need that oversupply option. So that was turn 1, very straightforward. Very simple, nothing crazy about it. The enemy is not doing anything for a lot of the time in this game. Now again, you don't want to take those one ones, even though sometimes they can feel rather, rather juicy and you're like, oh, we want to take that. No, we don't want to take that. Um, so I'm, I'm here, what I'm doing is instead of moving with my tank, I'm moving with this infantry because I know I probably won't use it much for attacks. So I'm trying to use it as a way to sort of move around and to find out where the enemy units are. I had a lot of leftover recon. So what she could do for this is just use the recon because I ended up with like eight leftover. So uh, I mean the, the recon ability that you can send the left off. Now, and here, I, I did a really cool thing. I got overrun on my tank, which I got really excited about, but I slightly didn't realize that with my positioning of my infantry or Africa Corps, I was actually in the way so I could move forward. That was a little bit sad, but uh, that's all right. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out how I want to move forward. So with the supplies, we're going to have some issues. So we can't put any supply up forward we could uh, extend this to two but it will not have a very good range so here kind of have to make a decision are you trying to keep that tank in supply or are you going to move it forward as you guys are going to see i chose to move it forward and you can see now that mersa albrega is out of supply so i chose to destroy mersa albrega to out of suppression to through out of supplying them which is I think it's a very good tactic. Um, well, it will be even easier in two turns if you realize something earlier than I did. Slight spoilers. But you definitely want to auto-supply enemy units wherever you can. So this is kind of... Uh, and the reason why I'm now doing faint attacks while it's there's a point to it is because they cannot resupply their units. So they will stay out of supply even for future turn as opposed to my unit who can get supplied. However, again, as you can see, my units will also be out of supply be because of that, the Africa Corps infantry and my uh, my tank, as you can see them right now, so it's something to watch out for. So uh, we have two extra units now, we get a one more infantry, wish it was a tank, only got an infantry, so just how it goes sometimes. But yeah, that's what happened. You can see again, I'm trying to push my units forward as much as I can, but not out of the supply range because that'd be ineffective. Another infantry, we will get tanks soon or a motorized unit, but um, not yet. Again, you always want to use up your faint attacks if an enemy is out of supply because it just makes it easier for you on next turn. Now the game is telling me, hey, you have some tracks available. Not, not going to do anything with them because it wouldn't be helpful in any way. And you want to make sure that you have them available for future turns, that you don't just place them because then the next time if you take them away, you can't use them. So something to keep in mind. Uh, it's turn three still. Okay. I thought it was turn four. Okay. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Again, I'm I'm looking at the odds. If there was zero odds, something I would do. It. Uh, the suppression attack is very bad. Um, um, odds for me it says zero zero but most of my units would get out of supply supply which would be fine we'll resupply the next turn but it just it wasn't beneficial so i 
chose instead to... No. Now we can see here that Agad Agadebia have no defense. Why am I moving with this infantry forward? Well, because when you take over an enemy uh, supply hub, it will resupply all of your units that are nearby. So you want to make sure that you don't just run there excitedly with your tank, because then you would only resupply your tank. So you want to make sure that your other units are close enough. I don't know the exact rules, like how close you have to be. Just make sure that you're close. I went for, uh, for Antella, which we do not care about whatsoever, so you didn't really need to push there. But, like, why not, I guess. And you, you do need to move your units forward, it just doesn't necessarily have to be at the Antella city. It's fine. Uh, now, with Mersa Albrega, we actually don't have to hurry all that much. Uh, uh, now, by the way, why did the recon uh, give me control of all of that area? Because it has the reconnaissance unit. That's a little green thing that you can see over there. So that, because you have that, if you're moving a unit that has that, it will sort of take control of further uh, hexes around. Yeah, and it, uh, the, the rules with Marcel Berg is the same. We're just trying to make sure that we keep them out of supply and uh, so that they can sort of like run away or move out. And then you want to move your HQs and everything. Well, actually, I'm not moving my HQ forward, but he could move it forward a little bit, but keep it in uh, in range. And as always, use your feint attacks, because why not? There's really no reason not to do it. Uh, I think I could have resupplied some of my units here. I didn't do it. I didn't realize I could, but it would be, have been a better use of the HQ points instead of using the feint attack in this case. But, you know... Hindsight is twenty twenty. All right, we got them. Now I didn't realize that I'm getting my uh, that I'm getting my reinforcements this turn, and so my my movement here is not the most optimal. For example, I will move my HQ in a moment, which is a very non-effective thing because if I realized that I'm getting the extra unit, I could have taken off over Mersa Albrega already, and then in future and then move the HQ much further. So this was definitely, as you're gonna see soon, that was, that there is a better way to do this than uh, what we just did. Now I'm checking Masus just to see because in, in, in a lot of um, parts of this game, there will be certain objectives that are actually empty. So you wanna make sure that you look there and go there and don't, or that you don't go to a unit that has a, to a zone that has a unit there could be ineffective. Now I wanted to take Masus really um, quickly here. So we're moving towards there. Um, you can see just by moving to a different spot we can get better out. I couldn't step in which made me real sad because I, I, but then I realized that I have the reconnaissance points. If I just move around I'll get Masus anyway. So that's pretty cool, but at first I was like, man, I mean, I got it and I can't get it. So but yeah, that worked. Again, I was looking at my supplies up. You might be looking at the hex right next to Agadabia that I don't have and try to see. It won't, It will help you a little bit with the supply hubs, but not that much, but it, you have to step on it to get it. Uh, this time I actually remembered to resupply my units that near HQ, which was a good move. And now is the time where I move my HQ, even though I should not have done that. This was... Uh, a bad, bad choice. Because uh, uh, cause if I just knew that I can take Mercer Albrega this turn, I wouldn't have done that. You have one more turn for Mercer Albrega, so you don't have to take it this turn, but take it this turn. Just do it. Just just take it this turn. You're going to want it like ASAP. Mainly because it will allow you to move your hubs in a better way. And again, because I was like... I, I didn't realize it in time. I, I didn't do it in the best possible way. I mean, I think I did actually do the supply hub correctly. We'll see in a moment. All right, now we're taking our reinforcements and we're, this is at the point where I finally realized it and we're moving to Mersa Albrega to take over. 
This is amazing because this is going to give us uh, the control so that we can move our supply ups in a better way. Now, had I not moved my HQ previously, I could not now move my HQ much for, further ahead, which would be great because I would be able to resupply some of the units that are also further ahead. For example, I could move my HQ, probably not close enough to the tank, but at least to maybe some of the infantry that sort of, uh, sorry, the um, recon unit that's near the tank, or at least the infantry with the pioneers that is uh, north of Gadabia. So we would be able to resupply those with our HQ, which would be amazing. But like I said, didn't realize it in time, moved the HQ too soon. That's all right. That's all right. But when you play it, you can do it better. I mean, you can do it however you want when you play it. I assume you're watching this because you either don't want to play the game or you do want to play the game and you want to see how it's done. Or how other people do it, I should say. Uh, and as always, you can feel free to write down your tips. If you have done very differently, like had a different approach, just, you know, write down in the comments because we're all here to, because we love this game, right? So write out all the tips, guys and girls. There are no girls who watch this channel. 99% <laughs> of my audience are men. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's focus. So looking at Mahili, being like, oh, there's a unit there. Okay, so so at this point, I kind of wet out my strategy. What I was going to do is I was going to move with my tanks over to Mahili and then uh, further to Gazala and try to out of supply them. But I realized that that is not going to work. So instead, what you have to do is you have to go at Benghazi and you have to take over because that will help you put supply ups in the middle of the map. Because the way it works right now, you can't uh, put supply ups like uh, further than Agadabia still. So it's like you, you can't really, um, where my supply hubs are, that's kind of where they can be. You can go further. So that's very irritating, right? So what I need to do, you need to take over uh, Benghazi and then you can put units sort of near Antelat and Masus a little bit. And then of course you can put it up here on the railway, but you don't care about the railway yet. And so uh, that was a mistake. Now I moved my recon lower because I, I had this idea that I'm going to resupply next one with my HQ. At this point, I've decided to resup. Uh, oh, actually, not yet. I I'm thinking about resupplying my tank with the air supply. And this is also the point where I realized that with my thing, I'm going to move up and sort of cut off bars from their supply. So that's where I'm trying to go now. So I'm moving. I'm resupplying it, and then um, next turn, or actually even this turn, I can move further. And I will hopefully get them out of supply with um, with bars. So, so see, so we're going to block that and that way bars. Uh, Benghazi, I believe, will still be in supply because they're on a port. But at least um, bars will be out of supply, which will make it easier to take it. So again, here you can see the supplies. You can see like the problem. So I, because I wanted to go differently, I wanted to go at Mahili, but it ain't gonna work. Like actually, I think I still think there is a way to make it work. Maybe if you did it in a way that you went straight for Mahili, tell me how in the comments. But I was like, I'm just gonna change my approach. Go up to bars. It's gonna be fine. And now we're like bars doesn't even have anybody there. Even better, we can just move straight in, resupply our tank. Just beautiful times. Beautiful times. So we are very happy with that. Uh, now, here we move to Beganzi. You are going to see multiple units here uh, next to Benghazi. And the unit on the circum, uh, on the HQ, I left it there and let it go out of supply. Not the right choice. You need to take full control of that supply railroad there. That will allow you to move later on. It will give you control over the entire supply railway, and then you'll be able to put units uh, completely on the east side of the map, which I wasn't able to do. So I had to do some sort of movement gymnastics with my unit because I just wasn't able to get the supply in the way that I needed. And because of that, I had to take the a loss that I took in this. You, you'll see that I took like one, I think one or one loss or two losses in, in this scenario and like like steps or something. And if, if I did it, um, if I took... I think if I get rid of that unit and then I would have been able to uh, get supply near near Timimi and Derma and I wouldn't have to mm, 
hit and take that hit on my heavy as you're gonna see later on so uh do not so i was like i'm just gonna wait it out let them out out supply themselves don't do that that costs me a little bit it's kind of funny because you, you don't see the damage there but it's like five turns later a tank is like ah oh, we're, we're dying and yeah All right, so here, because I realized that I have the artillery, I was like, I'm just gonna get this as soon as I can. So I went in here for attack. And again, this was mostly because I really wanted to get that um, supply connection so that I would get a better supply. But as you can see, I cannot get in. We are turn six, we have to take Benghazi by turn eight. So we do have time. Oh, I just realized you can't see the bottom of my screen suddenly. Oh, that is weird. Because we saw it previously, it was fine. Very strange. I apologize for that. My, I don't know why. Huh. Super weird. Oh, well, it, it, it doesn't matter. You can still... Oh, no, it's probably just me. Uh, I don't know. So, I don't know. As I'm doing the voiceover, I can't see the bottom of my screen. If you can see it, great. If you can't see it... You should still be able to get all the information. Okay, moving my tanks. Oh, let's just move on. Moving my tanks towards there now. Very important because uh, we need to get towards the Mimi. Uh, we need to get towards the Gazala mission. At this point, I realized I need to get Tangender, which completely slipped my mind. Thankfully, I do have that one uh, tank on the way. Uh, the tank on the east of Mrs. But uh, I kind of missed out on that. I was like, oops. I, I gotta go, <laughs> gotta go there, <laughs> which is why I'm moving my Rico now, that because I, I somehow hit it in my head that you have to take a bit more units up here near Benghazi and Bars, but you're done once you get Benghazi and Bars, so I was like, oh, well, I'm, I'm actually moving where I don't need to be moving, so, um, yeah, that was, uh, I took away my supply hubs because they weren't helping with uh, the units that I needed, and so you can see, because I have Benghazi, I can now move my units here, near Msus and it's kind of moving it in an area that'd be useful. I realized I don't need more than one so I just kind of placed one for the beginning and also I don't have more than one available for this turn but we can get an extra. And again take that unit with the HQ on Circom. Do not let it stand there like I did or you will pay the price like I did. Actually there was a way I probably didn't have to pay the price if I noticed something with Gazala. Again slight spoilers but I didn't notice things with Gazala so I paid the price. That's okay. Um, okay, so it looks like the screen issues on my side and not on your side. So if the bottom of the screen looks fine to you, that's okay. That's good. Uh, again, uh, I, I try to move my HQ. I wasn't quite sure where. I moved it up first towards Benghazi because I had this idea of resupplying that uh, recon unit. But I'm going to move it down next turn. So it's kind of like, I, I think it was a good move. But he could have chosen a different move is what I'd say. And they're moving their stuff out of Mahili. And right now, now I am like, I need to go get Tengadir. I'm like, oops, forgot about it. Fix it. <laughs> it's like, it was very much like, oh, oh man. Now this is turn eight and you have to take um, Mahili on turn nine and Gazala on turn 10. So you have one more turn for Mahili, two for Gazala. And uh, uh, Timimi is out of supply, as you can see. But yeah, right now I'm just trying to move my units forward towards Mahili so that we can get there and we can help ourselves out. And I still didn't choose, chose not to kill that unit with the HQ, man. Oh well. And now, uh, <laughs> realized that. See, I, I didn't even. So the reason why I put my HQ up there was to resupply that uh, recon, and I didn't even do it. So I'm like, come on. And and unfortunately, these these supply ups do not reach any of the units that I need. Just again, like I needed to reach the tanks that are near um, Mahili, but I just ain't doing it. So it's a little bit sad. 
And again, if I have taken over Circom and took over the supply river, I could put a put a stuff near Derna and give myself supply from there. But again, like sometimes I realize things a little too late. All right, now it's turn nine, and we have to take Mahili. I got so excited about the fact that there is no one on Gazala, as you're gonna see with my recon, that I just went for it. And I really shouldn't have done that. I should have used the unit on, um, should have used the unit on other things, but I got really happy. So first thing what we're doing here, we, we noticed that Team Mimi doesn't have anybody. So again, we're moving units closer so that we can take over the resupply. And I was like, hey, Gizala. So I moved there. Um, I think he could have done this a little bit differently. Again, the, this entire problem was created just from the fact that we did not kill that unit there. And had we done that, we could have handled Mikili better. Because our units would be supplied and we could use that tank to go up at Mikili and go to Gizala next turn as it's intended originally but um it, it's fine like look we'll, we'll take all the objectives anyway so who cares but um yeah so uh here i kind of moved back because i realized that i didn't actually resupply my units i don't typically like to use the undo button but in this case i felt like it was really a silly mistake not to mention it doesn't even matter because that unit won't be able to attack me the eight either way so it's like you know, it's already like the end of the mission, so I can afford. So this is where I took the 1-1. One, one, and I was like, this was the time that I took the loss because I had to. Because I had to take Mikili on this turn. And again, that's the problem created from not killing that unit near Beganzi. As I've said like four times already. <laughs> you get it. All right. Uh, at this one, I'm done. But at this point, I'm kind of thinking whether I could do some extra attack for some of these other units. Because a lot of my... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, if I could kill off some of the enemy units to get extra experience point, because a lot of these uh, units of mine will stay for future scenarios. And so I was kind of like looking around what I could do and how I could do it. Now, I moved out of Mahili to resupply my tank. You might be saying that's a bad idea because the enemy unit will step into Mahili. Yes, that is exactly what they'll do. Doesn't matter because you don't need to hold Mahili, you just need to take it. Finally, we killed this unit. Finally, after 200 million years. But we didn't even kill it, we just push it away. But now you can see that if you'd done that earlier, how beautiful our supply hubs would be. Right next to Mahili, I could have a supply hub and it would have been fine. But no, we gotta make it complicated for ourselves. We gotta make it complicated. I could even supply to Mimi. How cool would that be? It'd be a dream. I probably wouldn't need to use that many cards, maybe. Because uh, we, we used a lot of supply of cards in this scenario. Probably could have gotten away with one less, but... I mean, I guess you care because you're watching this. <laughs> yeah, see, they took Mahili. We don't, we don't really care. Our object is complete. With that one loss, I think maybe two losses. Uh, with um, you know, with Mahili. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, write down the comments. You can click on the right to watch some other games, uh, some other scenarios of other DLCs and different things that we did, did on this channel. See you there. Bye-bye.